up to Jim's Hops fan. Today is Monday, September 23rd. Uh, it's been a while since I've did a YouTube video, but I uh, just want to show you a couple of cool little things that uh, I just picked up for my prepping and my survivalism. So just give me a second here and I'll show you. Uh, well, actually, they're both lined up right here. One of them being the Cobra 38WXST handheld CB radio as you can tell right here I literally just bought it uh, probably upgraded to the uh, long distance antenna for fifty dollars but that's that's an upgrade that I'll do uh, eventually and then here is the scanner the it's a unident BC 75 XLT scanner which actually works pretty good the only thing I don't really like about the Cobra CB radio is that it takes nine AA batteries uh, compared to the CB radio where it also takes, I think it's three AA batteries, but I can charge everything by using the USB port on the side of it compared to the CB radio where I can't really charge it that way. I mean, I can charge it through uh, a car uh, jack, car lighter jack, but that's pretty much it. I also got myself actually a couple of cool little knives too for prepping. Uh, this one is a Gerber knife. Just give me a second as I try to get it out. Here's a Gerber. It's a folding knife. Really lightweight. I like it. New purchase of today. I also bought another Gerber uh, Bear Grylls survival knife, so just give me a second as I go to get it. Actually, I bought two of them, so I'll show you. Just give me a second. I wasn't really planning on showing this to you, but why not? And here's the Bear Grylls uh, knives. Actually, I'll put them in this one. The smaller one, obviously, just small. Comes out like so. It's a Gerber Bear Grylls knife. Nothing too fancy with it. A small little sheath for it. This, on the other hand, the big survival knife, actually comes with uh, flint and steel, which is right here. Uh, just give me a second as I pull it out. Give me a second. It's kind of hard to pull out. So. Sorry about that. See, it just pulls right out. Yeah, it takes a bit of pulling. Uh, that's the flint and steel. And then when you open this up, give me a second and pull out the knife. And here's the knife. Really strong. I I like it. Then also the added feature with this is also there's the sharpening stone on the other side, right there. So I can sharpen my knife with it. And then with the flint and steel to get the sparks, well there's the serrated part of the uh, bigger knife right there that you just use and you scrape it off like you would any other flint and steel. So that's the Bear Grylls Gerber knife. Then this is just a regular Gerber folding knife to recap. Uh, I also got some more Mountain House dehydrated food and some more, uh, well, another camel tarp. So basically, my preps are actually getting a bit more advanced, I would say, in a way. So scanner, CB radio, a couple of extra knives. I already have some knives already. But I want to upgrade to knives that are actually better quality or top quality so I know that I actually do have more money in my pocket right now. So uh, I figured all you guys would enjoy this for, for prepping and camping and everything else. So I know the CV radios and everything for prepping, you have to really think about it. Uh, the scanner, to listen to everybody, all the chatter, taxi drivers, police, fire ambulance, uh, air traffic control, it, I mean it does everything. And then the CB radio, well obviously truckers will obviously be out on the road 
and other people with CB. There's also an emergency, a couple of emergency channels according to the uh, back of it. There's emergency channel number 9, um, also says that channel number uh, 14 and 19 are also emergency channels according to the manual. So, it's also good. Like I said, I'm going to upgrade the CB radio to, uh, I'll get a longer, long range. So these are the new uh, things that I just bought within actually the past couple of days. I've been kind of busy with a new job that I have. And it's been keeping me busy and giving me extra money. So that and then there was Comic Con that just uh, came up. Uh, but was it last weekend? Uh, two weekends ago. So I've been busy with that there too and just general life. Uh, you guys did see the video of my son, or at least two of the videos of my son, of my son at Comic Con. So, anyways, enough about that. So this is James Habsman. I'm just showing you guys a couple of survival items, and I will talk to you all, all you guys later because I gotta go get my son right now from school. And uh, take care, have fun, and James Habs. Oh, I'll show you guys fast too. I know you guys aren't really into gnomes, but. I got a couple of cool little gnomes. Kind of freaky too. This one's this one's new. That one's new. The couple is is new. I got the pipe smoker too. Pipe smoker is actually kind of cool. I like that one. That one. I guess I'm into gnomes. I got a whole bunch of bunch of gnomes everywhere. Uh, electrical fireplace was a trade from my friend, so I figured that's kind of cool. I got all my all my pipe, well, some of my pipes set up on the mantel, uh, a mantelpiece. This actually right here is kind of cool. I just bought this uh, the other day. It's called an elf on the sh on the shelf. So check it out. It's actually a freaky story behind that. If you guys haven't ever uh, seen an elf on a shelf before, it's actually kind of freaky for for the kids with Christmas. Freaky, but it's also uh, also cool. So just check it out. It's called Elf. Here's the box. Elf on the shelf, a Christmas tradition. So I thought that was kind of cool and freaky in a way. I was leave you guys be. And this is James Habsfan signing. Oh.